Welcome to this tutorial on how to post on Facebook page every day using ChatGPT. Guys, if you want to keep your audience engaged or you want to reach a wider audience, it is really important to keep on posting regularly on your Facebook page. But sometimes it's really difficult to find out new ideas and generate new content and it can be really time consuming sometimes. That's where ChatGPT comes in. As an AI based language model, ChatGPT can generate relevant content for your Facebook page and you can post it. And I'm going to level up this for you as I'm going to integrate ChatGPT with Facebook in an automation workflow which is going to run every day and generate content and post it on behalf of you on your Facebook page automatically every day and you do not have to do anything manually. So it will save an immense amount of your time and keep your audience engaged as well. And you can set up this automation without any coding. So stay with me till the end and you will learn everything. Let's begin. To set up this automation, guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well so that you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now. After that, sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard. From here, click on this create workflow button and give a name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. After giving a name like this, just click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. Okay. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be an automated conse consequence or the response of the trigger. So here in our use case, uh, we are going, we want that this workflow should run every day and generate content and post on Facebook. So for that to happen, I'm going to use a feature of Pabli Connect here in the trigger, which is called scheduler. So with the help of schedule by Pabli feature, you can schedule the running of your workflows anytime in future. Like you can run it at regular intervals or once or every day or any day of the week or any date of the month. So here from this list, I'm selecting every day option. And here you can select any time as well on which you want to post. So I'm selecting, uh, let's say 9 a.m. Okay. This is the time I'm selecting. Click on save and this workflow is scheduled to run on daily basis at this time, right? And here after, uh, after that, what I want, I want that, let's say I have a page on Facebook, which is here. And in on this page, I want to post uh, about the historical facts on of daily basis. That means the historical fact of today's date, then the next day's date, then the next day's date. Okay. So for that to happen, first of all, I have to fetch the date uh, uh, to get, provide a prompt to chat GPT according to that date. So here in the action step, I'm going to search for uh, date time formatter by Pavli. And in the action event, I'm going to search for current date option. So current date is going to give us the date of current. That means the date on which the workflow is going to run. That means the date of every day. Okay. So here you can select the format of the date. So I'm selecting this basic format DD MM YYY. Okay. Then click on save and send test request button. And you will get the date time here like this. Okay. Now guys, here we got the date in this format in DD. That is the day, month and year. But in chat GPT, I want to uh, feed just the day and the month, not the date so that we can get uh, random historical facts about the date. If you feed the year as well, it will not give you anything. It will say as a AI language model, I cannot predict the future or anything, anything like that. Okay. So it is the, the important thing when you use AI models is that how you provide the prompts. So providing the prompts is really important. So just click here on this plus icon and here I'm going to connect with chat GPT. 
And in the action event, I'm going to select Ask Chat GPT, then click on Connect button. From here, select Add New Connection. And so here you have to provide the API key of OpenAI. OpenAI is the company which created Chat GPT. Okay, so you can get the key by clicking on this OpenAI key pages word and you will reach the OpenAI key page. Uh, if you're logged in, it will be redirected to this page. You will be redirected here. If you're not logged in, it will ask you to log in. Then you can reach here. And here, click on this new secret key button. And here's the API key will be generated. Just copy that key and paste it here like this. And then click on save and you'll be connected with chat GPT like this. Then it will ask to select the model. So right now we have chat 3.5 turbo model. Chat GPT-4 is also launched. We'll be integrating it real quickly. Okay, and here you have to provide the prompt. Now the prompt is important and here I'm going to type. So here I have given the prompt as write a Facebook post related to the history of this date. And here in front of date, I'm going to map this date that we had here in which we have fetched the current date but I do not want to provide the year, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to uh, split out the day and the month out of this date, okay? For that, just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up. Here I'm going to search for text formatter, text formatter feature of Family Connect. And here in the action event, select split text option, okay? Then click on connect button. All right, and here it will ask which text you want to split. So just click here and from the last step, map the date date here from the date time result label, map it here, okay. And here in the separator, I'm going to put this dash marks, okay, dash mark, because I want to remove this year. I want to split out the date and the day and the month and the year, okay. So put a dash here in the separator and then what index you want to fetch out first, last second to last we have many options here i'm selecting all so that we can get the day the month and the year separately click on save and send test request button and here you can see we got these three result labels here is the date here is the month here is the year now i can create a date according to this here so you can see the previous steps are not showing up here right now because i have added one more step after this step okay so you cannot just, you have to sequentially create the workflow. Okay, so you have to refresh the connection here. Just click on connected one more time and from here keep the existing connection option selected and click on save again and your connection will be refreshed. Now when you click, the previous steps will appear. And from the last step, first of all, I'm going to map the day. Then I'm going to put a slash or a dash, whatever you want and the month, okay, right. Now click on save and send test request button and let's see how it is going to give us the result. So we have received the response here and in this response you will receive this message content label and in the message content label you will get the created or generated content. So you can read here, did you know that on this day in 7042, Handel's Messiah premiered in Dublin, Ireland, the iconic choral work has been performed countless times. So this is a fact related to April 13th. Okay, you can see April 13th was the today's date. Okay, and it we have received the uh, thing that we can share on Facebook. Now to share it on Facebook, just click on the plus icon and from this action step, connect with Facebook pages. Okay, then select the action event as create page post and click on connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook pages. From this window, it might, it might bring you to the login window if you're not logged in, but I have already logged in in Facebook. So it is just asking me to provide the access to the account. So I'm going to click on continue and you can see we are getting connected like this. And here it is asking to select the pages name. So the name of my page is Pabli Tech. Okay, so I'm going to select it from here. Okay, then it will show you the message field. So here we can map the message that we want to post. 
and I'm going to map the message from the last chat GPT step. Okay, here is the message content label map it. We are not posting any link, so I'm leaving the link URL field blank. Now let's check the connection with Facebook. I'm going to click on save and send test request button and a new post will be created here. Let's see. I'm clicking on save and send test request button and a new post ID has been generated like this. Let me show you now on my page. I'm refreshing my page and here you can see guys we got a new post created and the post is this. Did you know that on this day 1742 Handel's Messiah premiered in Dublin, Ireland and you can see this is the same content that we have generated here using chat GPT. Okay, so this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, it will work automatically or every day and create posts for your audience on Facebook every day and you can work on any other important more important aspect of your life okay and your facebook page will run on autopilot and guys i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.